So here's a review type question from double integrals, multivariable calculus. We're given a double integral, we're asked to make a clear sketch of the region of integration, reverse the order of integration uh, appropriately, and then to evaluate the integral. Now part one is actually setting you up to do part two. With these kinds of problems, the region of integration is far more complex to, than what you saw at high school, for example. And so drawing a, uh, making a sketch gives you a far better geometric understanding of the problem. Okay, so let's have a look. Alright, so our bounding functions uh, y equals x squared, y equals 4, x equals 0, and x equals 2. So a good place to start with these problems is draw in the bounding curves. Okay, draw in y equals x squared. Draw in y equals 4. Draw in x equals 0, that's just the y-axis. And draw in the line x equals 2. Okay? So, kind of two, two potential regions present themselves there either this region or this region. How do we know which one? Well, the y is between x squared and 4. So if I was to draw, say, a vertical line, you can see that this vertical line enters the top region at x squared, where the bottom limit of integration is, and leaves at this curve, at y equals 4, the top, region of uh, the top limit of integration. So actually this is the curve that we want, the, the, the um, region that we want. Now if you want further um, evidence for that, think about taking this vertical line and moving it from side to side. How far along the x-axis should I go to trace out this top region? Well, between 0 and 2 the two limits of our integration on the, uh, uh, in the x variable. Okay, so this is our, re our shaded region of integration. Okay, well, we, need, we are asked to express the integral with the order of integration reversed. So what I'm going to do is actually resketch this. You're not asked to do it, but I, I totally recommend it. I'm going to resketch the region just with some curves, some of the bounding curves, um, the, the labels and the, the functions involved rearranged. Let me show you what I mean. I'll draw the same region, but instead of y as a function of x here, y equals x squared, I'll reverse it and let y, uh, x equal root y. Okay, that's going to be important. So, I'm going to draw, do my best to draw the same graph. Again, badly drawn, but you get the idea. Okay, so now instead of a vertical line, sort of, and performing your analysis, where does it enter, where does it leave, use a horizontal line. Use a horizontal line. So let's use a horizontal line that enters this region 
at the line y, uh, x equals 0, the y-axis, and it leaves the region at the, at the curve x equals root y. Now to sort of cover the entire shaded region, I need to move this line up and down the y-axis from 0 to positive 4. So there are my bounds. y equals 0, y equals 4, x equals 0, x equals root y. So let's write that as an integral. Uh, let's call this integral, say, i. Okay, so... The y limits of integration are between 0 and 4. And the x limits of integration are 0 and root y. Now the function is still the same. But we just reverse the order of integration now. Okay. So now we're faced with an integration, it's actually not that easy. So, starting on the inside, I want to imagine y is with respect to x. Now, notice the relationship between what's down here in the, in the um, uh, square root sign and what's up here. You can see this, if for, for y is a constant, x cubed is a, is a derivative of x to the power 4 plus a constant. So that gives me a, a hint on how to do this integral. This, think of this as power minus 1 half. When I do the first integral, it will become you add, add 1 to the um, uh, power minus 1 half, it'll become power positive 1 half. Okay? And now all you need to do is go, okay, well, if I differentiate this with respect to x, do I get that? Well, you almost do, except you just need to touch up because the power 1 half is going to come to the front and the power 4 is going to come to the front. So you just need to touch up. Okay? So now if I substitute in uh, x equals root y, x equals 0, I can take this sort of one half out the front. Then I'm going to get something like the following. Well, I'm going to get um, a y squared there. So I'm going to get two y, uh, root 2y squared. And I'm going to get 0 there. So that's what I'll get. Now I can clean, I can clean that up. Take the square roots, I'm going to get something like this. Okay, so that's a constant. I can take that out the front, and I can integrate y with respect to y. And so if I now sub in, well, the second term is going to be 0, and I'm going to get 16 on 2. So if I clean that up, I'll get the following. <coughs> 